Welcome to the fifth video of our bus build series. In this video, I'll show and explain the process of how we framed out our walls and ceiling. Let's get right into it and first talk about the material we used. You can see here that we're using strips of plywood. These strips are actually cut from three quarter inch thick sheets of plywood. Um, this was a method I've seen other people use and I liked it for a few reasons. The first advantage of this method is it helps cut down on costs. Now ripping this sheet into one and three quarter inch strips, which is the width we decided to go with, gave us 26 pieces and we used two sheets of plywood, yielding us roughly 50 pieces or 50 strips that are eight feet long. The same amount of two by fours would have been close to $250 and two by twos would have been, you know, over $200 as well. The next advantage to using a 3 quarter inch thick stud is the weight and space savings. Compared to a 2x3 or 2x2, using a 3 quarter inch stud gains us an extra 3 quarters of an inch of headroom over using both of those other options. It also gains you an extra 1.5 inches in terms of width on the bus. This doesn't sound like much, but it adds up quickly, especially when you start losing headroom. Now to attach these studs, we're using tech lathe screws, which are perfect because of their low profile head and ability to be used both on wood and metal. Now I did pre-drill all of our holes before putting in our screws, and this isn't an exact science, but you're gonna have to play around a little bit with what size drill bit works for the size screw that you're using. And this is also gonna be based on how thick of uh, metal you're going through. Uh, for us, it was a slightly smaller bit than screw. If you go a little too small on the bit, then you're going to end up twisting the heads off your screw. If you go too big, then you're going to end up not getting a good hold on your screw. So there's definitely a happy medium in there to make sure you get a good strong hold on your screw. It's also important to mention that if you don't just want to rely on screwing into the metal, you can definitely throw an adhesive on there. Uh, what we found to work really well on the bus is using silicone for adhesive. Um, it gives you a really good strong hold, but it also has a lot of flexibility. So when you're dealing with the vibrations of the bus, the silicone holds up really well to that. So now, as you can see here, I'm laying the studs um, on the ceiling section of the bus and I'm going perpendicular to the ribs that are already on the ceiling. There's a couple different reasons for this. One, uh, the way I'm going to be laying the plywood on our ceiling, it just allows for ample fastening points. But the second reason involves thermal bridging. By running the stud perpendicular to the metal rib, it allows you to get insulation behind your stud. If you run all of your studs over your ribs, then thermal bridging is increased due to there being a large air gap with nothing but a thin, low R value plywood running over it. Now there are ways to work around this by drilling the holes in those ribs and filling them with an expanding foam. Be sure to drill exit holes so that you don't overfill those ribs. So running our studs around the windows went well except for there being an inverted U channel under the window which was a tricky piece to screw into if we wanted to run a stud horizontally. So we decided to run multiple studs vertically to give us at least three nailing spots later on for when we install our trim. The last section was the back windows and walls, which were framed in with a combination of one and one half inch thick studs and three quarter inch thick studs. Working around the lights and window were tricky, but it ended up turning out really good. And as far as framing in the window went, I framed the window on the inside edge so that when I run my trim around the window later, I won't see the old window gasket and I can hopefully caulk from the new trim directly to the glass. Here is the bus completely framed. You can see all the side walls are framed. The back wall is framed. And there's a little bit of a sneak peek in there as to what our next video is gonna be if you looked at the back wall. But everything turned out great and I hope you enjoy this episode. 